Good afternoon everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. It's um, 29th, Sunday the 29th December, so right near the end of the year. Um, I just wanted to share one bad pruning decision, decision I made <coughs> when I got a plant. Um, early last year, I think it was about February or March, I purchased an Asian pear, a Hong Lee. And I decided to only take the tip off the tree off. I took off about six or eight inches and I was hoping and it had a couple of small side shoots <coughs> excuse me and I was hoping it would branch out lower down. I just didn't have the courage to cut it back to about four feet. Now as you can see it didn't develop any lower it didn't develop any lower branches at all in fact and it's only developed these three high branches well as I'm growing my plants in containers that's actually no use to me whatsoever what I want to try and do is grow a plant that I can keep to about six feet and get a nice formation of branches lower down in a kind of wine goblet shape so that I can hopefully keep these in containers for a few years and they'll obviously have to be potted up into larger containers so <clears throat> I was worried that if I cut it back that I wouldn't get any branch development because it didn't have a particularly good root system so I thought I'd just leave it and let the roots establish first but as you can see it was a bad choice so I'm going to have to to cut it back in the spring I think I'm going to have to take it back by about 50% because I really need those lower branches to branch out so that I get a nice bush form. Now the other one I've got which is a Shinziki actually isn't too bad. That has got some lower branches forming and it's actually got some fruiting spurs on it. So what I'll probably do is take that top stem back by about 50%. So uh, I should probably do that in probably won't do that till end of February or beginning of March uh, if uh, any signs of growth at all it shows once the buds start to break I'll prune it back at about that time or just before because I don't really want these plants to grow more than about six or seven feet tall because they'll be too big for pots and they'll be unmanageable but um uh, said that was a bad choice I should really have had the nerve to cut the uh, to cut the tree back by 50% and uh, hopefully get some branching out. You can see the result here. I cut the, um, this is one of my mulberries, this is uh, Illinois ever bearing, and this was pretty much a single stemmed trunk when I got it last winter, and I did cut it back, perhaps not as low as I should have done, but I cut it back a fair bit, and it's actually branched out really nicely. <coughs> So I'm quite happy with the form of this one. And what I'll do in February, which I'll film, these, uh, as you can see, this is something like nine feet tall. That's far too tall for me. So what I'm planning to do, <coughs> excuse me, because my uh, throat keeps getting a bit hoarse. These top branches I'm going to take back by probably two thirds. The ones on the sides, as I want it to push out a little bit wider, I might well leave those. I might take two inches off them just to encourage stronger growth and thickening the branches, but I'll probably leave those to form my branch network. And the same goes for the Moldovan pink next to it. It's getting quite a nice network of lower branches on it. And again, this, the top one there is about seven feet tall. So I'm probably gonna take that back by two thirds. And I should, as long as I don't take them back too far, I accidentally cut off the video there. I should get some flowers and fruit on this in this Illinois ever bearing this year, probably on the lower branches and probably some on the upper branches. So I won't take them off completely off. I'll probably leave about one third of the length. But there'll be no point letting them grow to nine or ten feet tall in containers. They'll just be too big to control and too big to move around and uh, too big to reach the fruit. So my plan is with pretty much all of the stuff I've got growing here persimmons poor poor as they're not the sort of things you normally grow in containers so this really is a complete experiment see if it can be done um, I'll try and keep them all to about seven feet tall and encourage them to branch out sideways because there's just no point having 
nine and ten foot tall container ground plants because they'll simply be topper heavy and fall over and it'd be impossible to pick or protect any fruit so I'll try and keep everything to a sensible size the jujubes um, apparently do quite well in containers and they've grown probably grown about two feet this year those won't need pruning at all because they seem to branch happy hopefully they'll branch out naturally the figs of course are quite happy growing in containers and restricted but I've got a good branch growth on some of my smaller persimmons they're getting a nice sideways growth so uh, basically I'm quite happy with how most of the stuff is doing just a case of um, keeping an eye on them and making sure they don't uh, don't get too tall really anyway further updates in the spring thank for thanks for everybody for watching advance happy new year to everyone um, by all means you're welcome to like the uh, video or you can give it a thumbs down if you want I won't be offended um, share it if you think there's anybody you know who might be interested and of course you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done if I'm growing anything that interests you and uh, click on the bell if you want to see further updates in the spring and see what survived the winter what hasn't and what needs work doing to it oh looks like the foxes have been busy here digging up my uh, gladioli swines they are anyway catch catch everybody in the next video thanks for watching brett out for now